In this video, we're gonna talk about Rula, episode 19. <laughs> so, you haven't gone over episode 18, okay? Where we saw the demon king, okay? So to speak. And, well, keep on watching and subscribe to this channel. I am 100% sure, guys, now. Hindi ba yun ang get over sa episode 18? But lo and behold, this episode drops. <laughs> Considering na merong side story and back story nito. Pero, we're not going to, we're not going to talk about like that right away. Right? First order of business, the thumbnail. It's been quite a while since we saw Isagi um, stare like this. Probably not since um, episode 5 or 6, I don't know. Because out, um, uh, out of the numerous times he's, um, he's given us this stare, uh, in those times that we didn't finish our review natin for Blue Lock, wow, I lost count of it. But this one was more significant. Totoo ang sinabi ko sa family, guys. We made a captainist move with this stare. Tagaan sa patulian if you haven't seen the episode yet. Hence the thumbnail. So with that out of the way, let's get to the nitty gritty of this episode. Thanks! Nag-assume ako agad na nung nagkaroon ng uh, side story, medyo babaga ng pacing. Yeah, sort of. Nagkaroon ng... Nagkaroon ng konting bago sa pacing, but when... Um, Bachelor's backstory started growing. Medyo uh, pumikap ng, ng konting konti. Right? Pero yung umpisa ng episode talagang intense eh. Do I have complaints guys? No? The pacing in this episode was perfectly balanced. The pacing was totally necessary for, the, uh, for, the, for a particular sequence. Okay? Most especially during the final scene, where the pacing um, went to its original intensity during the opening one, if not, uh, if not to pick up a notch. Although it had uh, a considerably long backstory sequence, well, it was vintage blue lock pacing. So, man. First gear ship, believe it or not, was Baro and Isagi's lunch stop. Now I know some of you may not consider this a gear ship, but you know how I operate, guys. Alright? I see beyond the superficial, I see beyond the visuals. I even see beyond the sound. Okay? For me, this is a profound gear ship. Mainly because Dito ay pinakita na ni Baro yung kanyang pagiging team player. Like I said during um uh, when, when I was uh, when I was live streaming this review, Baro is now the pitolo of Blue Rock. His pride may still be there, pero he now has enough insight to directly ask Isagi to what kind of soccer Isagi wants to play. I don't know. As to what kind of soccer is that he wants to play. Hmm. That's why it's called the viewship, guys. Alright? Yeah, it makes you makes you deep dive. It makes you um, tie this sequence to the overall storyline of at least this one episode. Final viewship. Of course, because there's a story was of course the final scene if you haven't seen the episode already. Isagi directly challenges Win to his face practically. This was the scene that triggered our thumbnail. Kaya na sinabi ko sa Titan na Isagi makes a captainish move. He really wants to um, he really wants to beat Win so bad that he Obviously, he is more than willing to make such a challenge. At testigo pa si Bachira. Right? And that's how determined he is in getting Bachira back. Tandaan nyo guys, Green is the number one player on, in Brulak. 
every um, every other player wants a piece of him definitely kasi siya lang bawa niya pero the one who wants him really bad the most ano bitaw ko siya but anyway si Isa G kasi whether we are admit it or not as uh, as viewers of this uh, this anime talaga napahiya na gusto si Isa G dito kay Rin This also sets us up for the next episode. Abay, mga mga makakasubukan na talaga itong si Isa Geek si Rin eh. Tapos meron pa siguro si Singit na Baro dyan. Meron din si Nabi, si Chigiri. Ha! Ah, things are gonna get very interesting in the next episode because of this one. So there's two questions that I saw guys. Except for the second one, you think you gotta watch the whole episode in order to get to know Butcher better. Because in this episode, parang ah, uh, ikilmento na ni ng nani ni Butcher ang kanyang backstory. It's already episode 19. Next time, it's already the road to the finale. So it couldn't have come at a better time. Plotwise, I love the transitioning from current continuity to side story, then to, of course, the Bachelor's back back story. But sorry, guys, I can't consider this a clean plot because of the back story. Therefore, I'm gonna like. Shadow and blood, guys. The transitioning again from current continuity to side story to back story. I love it. Right? Ang ang seamless. Right? If you're new to watching animes, you would instantly pass this off as a clean plot. My tagalog sa bato yan, guys. But for Uh, long time anime fans like me no it was totally well executed if not super green so face story plot we also became together for this episode folks right despite having a somewhat long backstory sequence wow <clears throat> it totally made us deep dive into um Baro's new mindset, Isagi's challenge, and of course, uh, the psyche behind Batsira. And from the way it looks, it's going to be a very interesting book for the finale. Kung ito lang ang magiging pasiyan mo, ang episode, itong episode na ito. So, Blue Rock, episode 19, is her. I tell you guys, if you're continuously missing out on this anime, I'm sorry, pero napagdanti mo na, okay? You're pulling off a nerdy move, okay? Right now, I'm gonna tell you guys, Blue Lock is one of the best sports animes in recent memory. Ngayon pa lang, sinasabi ko. Right? And, well, feel free to bet to differ. Ayan ang comment section. Okay? Feel free to comment. Okay, let's debate on that. Ako, maling-willing ako. But, let's hang on for the next episode to drop. It's gonna be, it's gonna be one. I bet it's gonna be one very interesting episode because of, um, because of the final scene in this one. But while you're at it, What's your reviews on this channel? So, um, free? Okay. Watch it free. Pero kung exclusive ka, nasa Vivo fan ko kita, okay. Okay. 